Land the F-18 Super Hornet on a carrier with the Canyons scenario. Landing on an aircraft carrier. Random start. We could be anywhere in relation to the carrier. And we are right base. Right base. And we are doing an insane number of knots. Looks like the carrier is turning as well. Get to the full flaps. And once we are doing less than 300 knots, we are permitted to get the gear down. Here's the carrier. And we're coming in at quite a weird angle here, but uh, nothing we can't handle. Get the line and back and we're doing good speed there. This is perfect. Doesn't look it to you, but it is, trust me, a perfect F eighteen. Catching the first wire there on the aircraft. Carry it. And um, if we can hit one of these arrows here, that little arrow there, that will get us into that little slot. And you can have a little look at the beautiful plane here. You can see the flap down there, you could see there in that view that I showed you. There's the flaps. There they go. It's good to have a notch of flaps if you're taking off in such a short um, runway, which is practically non-existent. But what we do is we go right to the after So the engines go pink, from blue to pink, when they're after burner. And we have a little look around. Look at this beautiful cockpit. And there's F-18. Super Hornets. And then we go back to our hub view and press this magic button. And the winch is going to pull us as well. We will take off, take the gear up, flatten out those flaps. We are allowed to land again on there. We get as many landings as we like. And go back to that aircraft carrier and do another landing. Just thought you. 50 feet above the water the first. Now we go back to the aircraft carrier and do another landing. So let's just get ourselves nicely lined up for it. Let's slow it down. Use a bit of rudder for the height. As I teach people in the canyon flying, use your rudder for your height. When you're flying on your wingtips, full flaps, gear out, speed roughly 220 to 30 knots, thrust at about 50%, and we're coming in at 220 knots. And this should be another perfect landing on the carrier, hopefully. On for there. And I guess just to prove it, prove that it's not a, uh, a fluke, should we do another one? Shall we do another one? Let's get onto our little green winch again. Show you some more beautiful views of the plane. Here's the flaps. And I like just one notch. In fact, it, I think it could benefit from two notches of flaps, this plane, taking off. Some of these winches are different uh, heights. Look, you can see the hook there in the back there that catches the line as we land. This is the view that makes the pilot look like a tiny little insect at the front of the plane. Okay, so we're all ready now. We're going to go for the maximum thrust. 
back to the hub view and press the magic button and already be pulling back not pulling back on the stick but just backward pressure not pulling back we don't want a stall we don't want to go instantly into a stall there go the flaps we're well above 220 we are not going to stall and we're just going to go over to these mountains and back and we could do one more landing on the aircraft carrier in fact why don't we do a left base landing this time instead of right base why don't we go the other way so up like this and over Let's make it left base. Actually right over the carrier now. So over here is this way. It's perfectly in line there. So we're gonna do a helter skelter style of approach. Here we are, left base. There's the carrier you can just see on the left there. And coming on to a left final, using that rudder to just keep the height. Pull flaps, level her out. Minor adjustment to the line with the rudder pedals. And now gear down just below 300 knots. Thrust approximately 50%. Doesn't need to be too exact because we can use the air brakes, which is on the right here. We've got half air brake there, which is quite quite good actually for doing minor adjustments to the speed, the airspeed. And this is a good line. more than good it's perfect but we need a touch more thrust angle of attack a little steep just fixing that there and onto the first line and that is our third and final landing on the aircraft carrier <laughs> 